share with you a glimpse of what's happening around the world, but also more importantly, what's happening in India. A very warm welcome to our Bosch colleagues, especially to Dr. Marcus Hyde, who's come all the way here, uh, who's in charge globally for mobility for all our customers worldwide, and many other responsibilities to my colleagues, uh, Jan Roll and Sandeep, also in the board of Bosch Limited. Today I will be talking not just Bosch Limited, but about the Bosch Group in India. So uh, you should please keep a note of that. Think of mobility and an image comes to your mind of a highway stretching for miles, cars and trucks and SUVs driving on it. A sense of order and predictability. There are very few ways the story can go. In India, it's different. The story can go a billion different ways. A car for any Indian family is not just a means to commute. It's a place to pile in when you're celebrating festivals, where three generations can travel to shopping malls and picnic spots, a way to see the countryside on school holidays. A scooter is not just for one person, but for a whole family. A motorbike is not just for bike enthusiasts, but a livelihood for a young man. A farmer uses his tractor to take his produce from field to market. He also uses it in off-season to help his village build new roads. The Indian consumer looks at the same vehicle and sees a whole life, a way to pursue her dreams and make them real. It is to help fulfill these dreams that Bosch believes in creating cost-effective and fuel-efficient mobility solutions. We aim to provide mobility technologies and solutions that are uniquely designed for India and are truly invented for life on the Indian roads. Thank you. Uh, this gives you just a glimpse of, you know, what happens in India and why India is so unique. A little bit about our parent. You know, our parent is, uh, you can see, 19, 1886. So we're talking of, you know, around 134 years plus uh, young. And uh, Bosch India, two years later, is going to be 100 years young. Uh, just that you know. Uh, or just less than 80 billion euros. And uh, you can see an uh, amazing growth rate of 12% CAGR over this 134 years and more than 400,000 employees worldwide. And uh, very importantly, uh, the founder gave 92% of his wealth away to a trust. So this is perhaps the only private limited company, which is about 6,50,000 crores, owned 92% by a trust and where uh, this vast majority after CapEx and R&D goes to the trust. Uh, Bosch for decades worldwide has spent around 10% of its turnover on R&D. That's why we have the tagline, Invented for Life. So very unique company with ethics, values, and trust-based organization. India, we came to India in 1922. So 2022, we will complete 100 years. And we are doing Make in India for the last 67 years. And, uh, you know, Bangalore operation started its manufacturing in 1953. Currently, the Bosch Group in India has 18 factories across eight states in India. We have more than 32,000 Bosch employees. These are, you know, permanent employees. And we have the highest engineering and R&D force in the world outside Germany. And this gives an added impetus. And many of them work for embedded software. So you know, hardware, software, IoT, everything goes together and we put up an electronics plant many, many years ago. We have around 21,000 crores plus of turnover and of course, uh, 15 legal entities. Uh, a very important thing that we need to look when India goes through a downturn on mobility is not to add just to the whole aspect of gloom and doom. And all of us were euphoric in 17 and 18 when India had one of its fastest growing rates. We must look at the bigger picture. If you look on the left side on what happens in terms of both demand for passenger and goods mobility, uh, on the left is the passenger mobility and on the other is goods mobility. 
If you take the period between 2018 to 2030, we are looking at perhaps a 1.6 times increase in the movement and perhaps a double increase in rail and road. So mobility will always be demanded in different ways, albeit. But it's a demand that's going to be there and it's going to be on the increase. And especially in countries like India, where our average age is still dropping. Very important is the urbanization in India. We expect that 40% of the population will move into Indian cities in the years to come. And many of our cities are becoming perhaps the most populous cities in the world or the fastest growing cities. So I don't need to state it. It comes with opportunities, but it also comes with challenges. India has been in the forefront for bringing regulatory changes and perhaps some of them are the fastest in the world. On the emission front, all of you know that uh, advanced countries, including our parent Germany, took eight years to go from Euro 4 to Euro 6. The average time was eight years. India took three years to go from BS4 to BS6, the, with some differences the equivalent of Euro 4 to Euro 6. And earlier, at BS2 to BS3, we had a delta of between 15 to 17 years in technology. Today, after the movement on 1st April 2020, the delta will reduce anywhere between a band of three to five years. So we are talking of very different shifting changes which are seamlessly happening, whether in emission, whether in cafe norms, whether in safety norms, and in many areas which we have indicated, including fuel, fuel consumption. All these areas, Bosch supplies solutions. Uh, colleagues from the press, we are not just a component manufacturer, of course, a big part of it comes from components but we are a systems as well as most importantly a solutions provider to India. Three examples I want to give you. The big change, and you will see the data, the big change that is happening on BS4 to BS6, I'll share the data with you, the huge, uh, you know, uh, how Bosch has partnered with the OEMs to make that happen seamlessly. The two-wheeler, ABS as an example, more than one million two-wheelers today are applying on the roads with Bosch ABS. The change from carburetor, Bosch will play a very important role on this and many more examples including electrification which you know about Bajaj as well as TVS. So this gives you just a map, I'm not going to read out to you how leapfrogging happens and seamlessly and quietly and that too in India in front of you. On the left side you have all the sectorial vehicles, on the right side the timelines. And you can see the red line which indicates very importantly the changes which are happening 2020 and followed very shortly by 2022 and 2023. BS4 to BS6 is perhaps the most stringent change that is ever happening. I would now like to give a statement on Bosch acquisition. On BS4 to BS6, Bosch has acquired 70 projects. These 70 projects which have been acquired in the last few years, couple of years, which are booked acquisitions, which will span over the period of the acquisition period, are approximately a value of 24,000 crores. So this gives you an idea of technology linked to giving a complete solution, starting from the inception, because we have our applications in R&D engineer, right up to SOP. And you know, uh, the EGT plays a very important role, but we take responsibility for the full system. So this gives you an example of we being a player of not just supplying to the OEMs but we create the ecosystem from the supply chain to the aftermarket to R&D to sales and most important localization and manufacturing. We have 18 plants in the Bosch group in India and we do systemic localization in a phased manner and we ensure that parts systems and solutions are affordable, innovative, and also made for India, most of them made in India. I wish all the drivers a very safe ride. I expected some challenges, but not this extent. The learning
learnings across cultures, across terrains and across the technologies what we had it was an honor for me as well. So this gives you an example of how uh, we did a practically pan-India drive and this was done by my colleague, our Joint Managing Director and Chief Technical Officer Jan Oliver Roll and his team. And, and this also tells you how Bosch worldwide but also in India continues to focus on its core and improve. We are a technology agnostic provider across diesel, gasoline, CNG, hybrids, electrification. We use and get a lot of support from our parent, but we also see that they are localized and what we call as Indianized. So this gives you an example well from Bangalore right up to Delhi, and we've shared all the data with Government of India authorities. Climate change is going to be a very important part. It's the uh, not the future, it's here and now, and we know what's happening with global warming. And the Paris Agreement, which calls about CO2 neutrality in by 2050, and where India is one of the very important players, uh, we in Bosch very strongly believe that our transport solutions, our mobility solutions, have a very strong linkage to climate change. One small example, we are perhaps one of the first if not the first, the largest also company to go CO2 neutral by end 2020, globally, but also in India. So this is a very important commitment that we are making, and uh, this will be done across the Bosch Group, all over all countries, but India too will have it. I'll end by just giving you what is space, P-A-C-E. And this gives you a glimpse of the Bosch mobility solutions that we provide across the world, but also in India. PACE stands for personalized, automated, connected, and electrified. And uh, we give this in sustainable solutions, and we give this in a modulized version. And these solutions, let me share a few examples. Take the example of Bosch mobility solutions personalized. We, as you know, that in the listed company, we put up two project houses, which, I mean, and when I say project houses, they go in for even SOP and with dealings with our OEMs. One is the electromobility, and this uh, caters for our two-wheeler, three-wheeler, four-wheeler, and, and this is something that you've seen real-life examples. Uh, when you saw, when we believe that electrification, when I come later, will start with two-wheeler, three-wheeler, and you saw a couple of examples in Bajaj Chetak Electric as well as TVS, the e-scooter where Bosch has its solutions. The second thing that we believe very strongly is automated. Of course, this starts with driver assistance. And you know that uh, we gave an example of ABS and ESP. Uh, road fatalities in India, recorded, there are some unrecorded too, are more than 1,50,000. And we have data to prove that you know more than 10,000 deaths just can be avoided through ABS. And you can see the huge change. One million today, two wheelers already have Bosch ABS in the streets and more will come. They are lightweight ABS, they're manufactured in India, they're localized, and they're affordable and they're innovative. Uh, ESP is a natural you know, follower for ABS. And this we know that would happen both, and it's happening both for two-wheelers as well as for pass cars. And very importantly, Bosch has a lot of innovative driver assistance systems. For lack of time, I'm not doing it right now. We can have question answers, and especially uh, who better than Dr. Hein to give you detailed answers globally, but also for India. We are a company which is extremely innovative and not just hardware-driven. Many of us in this room do not know that nearly more than half of your MEMS sensors in your mobile phones are Bosch sensors. Bosch makes billion plus sensors a year and it goes across not just automotive but across all areas including in your own smartphones. So we have a lot of IoT devices including being connected and here you can see example of perfectly perfect the keyless entry into a vehicle, or whether it is charging, or hundreds of such applications. Our project house mobility services and solutions will also participate very strongly in this area of being connected, but also providing solutions and digitally. If you take Electrified, Bosch is one of the few companies in the world 
while not making a car, provides everything to a vehicle. And we have a portfolio from two-wheeler e-bikes, apparent, right up to eight CVs for electrification. In India, we believe strongly, and our CEO shared that his vision when he gave was one of the keynote speakers for Mobility Summit, which uh, the Prime Minister had invited, that two-wheelers and three-wheelers will be the first to be electrified because that's the most cost-effective, the lightest, and you can see that with the launch of the Bajaj Chitak Electric and the TVS and more to follow. Uh, we also believe that LCV will have electrifications and, and we believe that Bosch can participate in a very strong way because we have complete electrified solutions across the range. We are, and when required, we will further get into localization for specific bandwidths for the power. So in summary, this is just a glimpse. One can go into far great details. Bosch India is very strongly committed to the mobility of the future. We believe it's not just the number of vehicles that we need to look at. We need to look at what these vehicles, how the models will run. So when I mentioned to many of you that we are having cyclical but also structural changes, it meant that the industry needs to transform to meet solutions which are of a different nature than just individual mobility or just the traditional mobility that we have seen. They will be connected, they'll be electrified, they'll be automated, they'll be personalized. And Bosch India, uh, along with the support of a parent, will play a very important role. So I end, you know, our core business is still powertrain. And BS4 to BS6, I think we are both humble and proud to be committed to the journey. And the 70 projects that we have acquired with a value worth of 24,000 crores gives you an example of a partnership with the OEMs that we do and our commitment to the India story. Thank you very much.